Hi friends! In this video, I will share with you a full graphical user interface, currency, exchange, Java, Affix, desktop application connected remotely into specific API to fetch the latest data currency rate. So this is the dashboard. This is a convert button. From here, I can convert an amount from one currency to another one. So here I choose five, five euro. Let's see the result in DZD. So and this is the latest data currency rate. Let's choose, for example, USD. So here I choose 9.5 and let's convert it to DZD. As we see, this is the result. From here, we have the symbol and the signification of H1. From here, I can choose, for example, the symbol. Let's choose D, Z. So here, this is the result. I fetch all the symbols which contains this two letter. If I choose D, I fetch all the symbol which contains the letter D. And here we have historical currency. I can draw a chart for any symbol based on Euro. For example, let's choose this day if I click in this day as we see this is the result currency rate this at the two euro so let's choose another one for example year and so as we see here this number means one euro equals approximately 150 and I fetch the latest eight day from 9 12 into 9 20. I will share with you this link for the source code application. You need also to create an account in API layer to fetch the latest data currency rate. So here create account. You need your API key. This is my API key. Go into API marketplace I will show you the API which we need so search for fixer and search so this is the API we try to use this API so and this is the end point so here I create this folder and this is the application so I download it and extract this folder here. So let's try to create new project to make everything clear. Choose Java with Ant, Java application. And here choose, for example, video T2. And here I choose the Z day and create main class and finish I copy all this folders control C and let's put it here control V and let's try to fix the problems first let's try to import the libraries so go into libraries or I prefer to go into this folder and add jar folders and let's go into desktop and video t2 go into dist live and i take all this jar files and i open it let's try to fix the problems so here here go into this is a day copy the name of this package and put it here this a day video tito dots connection api 
and this is the right package and I copy this one go into JSON conversion and put it also here Here also in the dashboard controller, you need to put your API. This is my API. So go into your account to grab your API. So here in this API, I use another account. Also go into dashboard dot fxml. And this is the view and here I change this one by this and go into main method and let's grab the contents of this class so here I copy all this thing And here I change the class into DZ video T2. And I need also to change the path into dashboard.fxml. So for that, I put here DZ dot video dot t2 so here I separate between by this symbol I copy also this one so here t2 and I put it here also go into property of the project and here choose GDK 13 here we have this libraries here in the run we need to write this lines so this mean I called the jar file inside libraries and in G Java FX SDK 18 so for that you need to download here write Java FX click in the first link and go into download and here choose the appropriate version for you in my case I use 18 so here I go into C programs and Java and this is to Java FX SDK 18 live so I copy this path so this is the path which I wrote in this line module path and here between this double cut I put the path and I add this line add modules Java FX controllers and Java FX FXML so here choose OK and let's run now so this is the result after I run this project here I change the GTK into 8 to cover the most version of different GTK. So I wish this video will be helpful for you and we will meet in the other videos.